Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at player prices once again. How much will these cards cost at the beginning of EAFC 24? A lot of these are specific requests from what you guys did from our first video. If you didn't watch that, I'll link it up here. We looked at a lot of prices there as well, but today we're expanding upon that and looking at even more prices. So without further ado, drop a thumbs up on this one if you're excited for it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Now we're going to look at a lot of players so let's get right into it first of all Neymar big questions about how his cards gonna come in on the market this year in EAFC because of course last year he had the PSG rating uh, links and he had a little bit better ratings really his card is unchanged besides the pace he went from 87 pace to 86 a couple other small minor changes he's still five star five star guys Neymar is still in ultimate team one of the best wing players that you can get but his links are just not as good unless you want to link him to like Ronaldo a couple of the other Saudi League players I think that's going to hurt his price a little bit but also mix that with I said it in last time in the video I think prices this year are really going to be on the top tier of cards a bit more expensive just because there are so many more players in the game I think it's going to make the top tier separate themselves from the rest of the pack a little bit more so I don't think Neymar is going to be crazy cheap this year I'm saying 500k for Neymar and I guess you're like, Nate, that was his price last year. I think he's going to be 500K again, just because the top tier meta market is going to be, again, really expensive this year with the way things look. So I'm going to say 500K still for Neymar, but obviously as all these prices do, he's going to drop off really fast after that first couple of weeks. Now, another card here we're going to look at, very highly requested from the last video, Musiala with a massive upgrade. This is one that I, I would love to try this card out. And this might bring some hype to the Bundesliga just because of this card, guys. He has got a five-star skill, four-star weak foot boost on his card. And they gave him, it was like plus 10 pace from last year. Absolutely insane looking card. We can't even really look at his last year card to get an estimate on how much this guy is going to be because he was 81 rated, a center mid, and I think he was like 10K. Not even. a 1,000 coins, 2,000 coins to start the year off last year for this Musiala. It's going to be a completely different story for this year's Musiala, guys. I'm saying he's going to be 150K with the five-star skills, the four-star weak foot, the play styles that he has. And you've got some nice Bayern links as always. I think this is going to be a card that a lot of people will chase after this year. So I'm saying 125 to 150K because of that massive upgrade. Now, speaking of pace and high stats, Adiemi, one of the most... Uh, sought after cards in the starter period of this game because he's so fast with the was it the rapid or he's got quick step play style he's also got the rapid play style as well this card is 100% a starter card he can play on the left side um, which is a really good place for him to play his shooting is not that great his dribbling is decent he's a starter card for sure guys I think Adiemi is going to be 20k this year but he's going to drop off very fast so get him in your team maybe after he goes from like 20k to like 5k if you really want to use him in those early game stages he's going to start expensive and then drop off for sure there's a lot of hype around him though because he has 96 pace now moving on another Bundesliga we're kind of just following the same league right now Alfonso Davies his card looks almost exactly the same as last year it's just they actually gave him plus one pace and they downgraded his overall rating from an 84 to an 83. I think Alfonso Davies this year is still going to be the marquee left back in the Bundesliga. One of the best left backs in the game for the pace as well. And he's, he wasn't actually that expensive last year. I was a bit surprised to notice that his price last year peaked at about 60,000 coins. And then, of course, dropped off during the latter part of the month. And he was 8K, you know, a month after the game was uh, released. But I think this year, Alfonso Davies is going to have a pretty similar graph. I mean, Musiala could bring a little bit more hype um, to the Bayern links. A couple of other players, maybe Harry Kane, if there's a lengthy meta, could bring a bit of hype to a guy like Davies as well. I'm saying he's still going to be 60 to 70K, though. The thing is, he is just, he is the Bundesliga left back. Like, he is the guy you're going to use in a Bundesliga team as a left back. So I'm, I'm thinking 60, 70K still for him will be where his price tops out. Frimpong, though, a little bit of a different story. A lot of hype in FIFA 23 for Frimpong. The cards that he had, just his pace overall in the game. He had that team of the season card that was really, really good. I think he's going to be more expensive this year, guys, because actually I was surprised to see how cheap Frimpong was last year. Now, I know his links aren't the greatest in the Bundesliga, but I think this card being... 20k at its peak last year he got a plus three overall rating his stats are a bit better i'm saying frimpong this year is probably going to be about 30k which isn't breaking the bank by any stretch of the imagination that's a really decent card for 30,000 coins especially for the pace 
But that's where I think he's going to be this year on that card. Now, let's move away from the Bundesliga a little bit and get into some Premier League cards. Christopher and Kunku. And man, guys, I forgot how much of a pace downgrade EA gave in Kunku from FIFA 23 to FC 24. 88 pace last year. This card looked insane to 82 pace in EAFC 24. Of course, though, he's got the Chelsea link, so that kind of offsets some of the pace um, being downgraded as well. So what's his price going to be this year? This is a really intriguing one for me. Last year in Kunku, with this massive upgrade, what a rise, by the way, 47k to 162,000 coins. With the Bundesliga, of course, the French links as well. He's still five-star skills. He's still three-star weak foot. He's got no play style pluses, which I was a little bit, um, I was hoping to have to see him have one, but he doesn't. But he's still got the five-star skills in this card, and he's got the Chelsea links. He might be the best Chelsea player besides Sam Kerr, if you throw in the women's players in there too, like in the game for stats and for rating and how good he's going to be in game. I think he's going to be 150K again this year, guys, just because of the Chelsea and the Premier League links. I think a lot of people will use this guy as a more attacking uh, center midfielder in uh, maybe a three midfield set, maybe as a center attacking mid as well. I don't know if anybody's going to, maybe some people will use him as a striker. 86 finishing is good. 86 positioning is good too. But he's got really solid passing and great dribbling. So it feels like you need to use him in an attacking mid uh, part of the pitch or in a midfield role as well. What are his work rates? Medium, medium. Okay, so yeah, I think the midfield suits him well, and I think that's going to mean he's still going to be 150k um, based off of how his price last year it was, and I think how it's going to be this year too. Darwin Nunez, starter card, kind of like Adiemi, uh, very pacey. Got to upgrade in pace from his last year's card. This Darwin did, but again, it's pace, pace, pace. People see 90 pace in a Darwin. He's probably going to be 20k and be more expensive than he was last year. Liverpool links. And, of course, the 90 pace. He's going to be a starter striker in Premier League teams. A lot of people will go for it. But like Adiemi, he's going to fall off in price pretty quickly. Now, one of the most highly requested cards from the video a couple days ago was Serie A players, specifically Kavicha, Kavaradona, Kavard Skelia, whatever, however you say his name, whatever you call him, the interest, most interesting name in all of uh, football. This guy got one of the biggest upgrades out of all cards from the previous year. It's not even worth looking at his card last year to try to figure out how much he's going to be this year. That's not how it goes with him. This Kavicha, though, I'm comparing him to other players that have similar stats and similar positions. Serie A guys, as a league, last year was super cheap. We were like, oh man, all these Serie A cards are so cheap. People were using Tamori. Rafael Leao, you're going to be amazed when we look at his price from last year. I forgot how cheap he was. This year... I don't think Serie A is going to be as cheap, guys. But I think this Kavicha is going to be a one that a lot of people will go to. It'll be a little cheaper, right? It's still not going to be as expensive as the Premier League, maybe La Liga. But um, I think Kavicha is a very sought-after card this year, guys. I'm saying he is going to be kind of similar to Nkunku, but maybe a little bit, j just a smidgen less. And you're like, Nate, you're crazy. He's 5-star, five 5-star. Five star, and um, he's like the best winger in the Serie A. How is he going to be around the same price as Nkunku, like 130, 150K? I think it's because his links are still a bit tough. Let's be honest. If you're using Kavicha in a team, you're committing to Serie A because you need those Serie A links. Maybe you have a hero in there that's Serie A as well, so you get extra chemistry. You're probably going to rock Osaman with Kavicha, but man, this card is going to be so highly sought after. He's 5'5". Five five. Um, he's got really good stats, man. He looks incredible. And you're going to link him up with other Serie A players. So I think about 130k for Kavicha seems very accurate. And then Osaman, he's all pace and shooting. That's his card. Literally nothing else. Four-star weak foot. Um, don't look at his other dribbling stats. The balance is a little bit... It's okay. He's actually controlled lengthy as well, which I'm really curious to see how that works out with the meta. Because he's a version of lengthy. Not full lengthy, but a version of it. Um, I think he's going to be 100K, and I think that's going to be a price step up from last year. He's also 88 rated, so he's going to be a little harder to pack with a higher rating. Um, so yeah, I think him, he's going to be about 120K for Kavicha, 130K, and 100K for Osaman. So we're talking like just a little over 200K to probably get both of those guys in your team in the first couple of weeks. Now, if you need some more Serie A links, Tamori. Cracked looking as always. Last year, he was, um, I think, what, 60 or 70K? Um, he was 70 to 80,000 coins, peaked at about 90,000 coins. So I think Tamori going to be around the same price as about he was last year, just because his links are about the same. It's There's a couple more AC Milan players people might want to use this year. Of course, it's Teo Hernandez 
and Tomori that a lot of people want to use. He's got the English links as well. And maybe a little bit of extra hype with Kavicha, with Osaman, with Leao, right? With Leao as well. Maybe Tomori goes back up to like 90, 100k this year as well. It just seems to me like, yes, he's one of the great starter center backs or early game center backs. There's just a lot of really great center backs. I don't know what it is. It just seems like there's a lot of really great center backs this year in this game. But he definitely sticks out amongst them for having the 86 pace, controlled lengthy, um, and a, a 90 sprint speed with controlled length. Like, he's going to be mad fast. So that's going to be a card that will be in all of the best Serie A teams. And then, of course, his counterpart on the same side, Milan Leao. He was actually so cheap last year, guys. I couldn't believe this when I went back and looked. As we said, he was only 25k last year at the beginning of the game and then dropped off like crazy. Um... Wow, I think this year Leao's in for a big price increase, just similar to like Kavicha and Osaman. I could see Leao being somewhere between 100 to 150,000 coins. I think out of those three, Leao, um, Osaman, and Kavicha, I think Osaman will be the cheapest. He'll be maybe right around 100, maybe a little bit less. But then Leao and Kavicha together, I don't know what their alternate positions are going to be. It's going to be tough to get them both in the same team. And I think that's going to hurt their prices too a little bit because they're both kind of vying for the same position in people's squads. But wow, what a card for Leao. He's four-star, four-star. Great looking item. He's going to be pretty solid in game. He is only controlled, though. He is not lengthy, which is interesting with the um, dribbling boost that they gave him. He is not lengthy. There was an inform that he had last year that was uh, very meta because it was lengthy, right? And a lot of people wanted to use that card because of it. So I think Leao is 100k this year, though, because of the hype. Now, that's some Serie A done and dusted. Let's look at two, a couple more women's cards for prices because, man, there's going to be a lot of questions and a lot of hype around some of these women's cards. We're talking Sophia Smith for starters. I, it's tough, guys. It's so tough to try to guess and to think how much these women's cards are going to come in at, on the market. The best thing that I can try to do is compare it to, like, how much hype is there for a lot of these players. A lot of them, there's hype because they're brand new, but we still have yet to see... How many people want to incorporate them, especially with the links, right? For NWSL players, it's kind of tough to link them unless you're going to use multiple women's players in the side. And that's where things get a little bit interesting, right? And there's plenty of those meta type players. So a card like Sophia Smith being four star, five star with the great dribbling, obviously the great pace, 93 stamina and 92 jumping as well. High medium work rates uh, with the quick step play style trickster as well. This is this is not going to be a cheap card, and it's 88 rated too. I've got a price here for about 150k because in the last video for price predictions, I mentioned that I think Oshawala is going to be around 125 to 150k. If this card is 125, 150k, this card should be just as much of that um, because again, the links are worse, but it's probably a better card. But Oshawala has got the Barcelona links, so I think that um, makes Sophia Smith a better card, but. The links are maybe a little bit worse, right? Because you can't use that club link for a lot of players like Sophia Smith. So, um, at least linking to the men's side of things, I mean, with that. So, I think Sophia Smith, right around 150,000 coins. Hey, don't sleep on this French left back, Car Chawi. Uh, we're going to look at Ferland Mendy in a little bit. And 65 physical doesn't look that good. But especially if you're going to be playing somebody as more of like a left mid, left wing back type of role, whether it's a five back or a three back. This might be a great player for that position. She's got really, really good dribbling, really high composure. You throw a, um, I don't even know, what did you throw, an anchor on this card? That's going to be an insane card with an anchor. Um, maybe you go with a shadow, but you probably want to boost up that strength a little bit. Maybe even go with like, is it a sentinel? One of the defensive chem styles gives you a lot of backbone. I forget what it is, but you get a lot of strength. Maybe it's plus eight strength. I, I feel like an anchor would be the way to go for this card, Chowie card. Um, I mean, for this for this item, I'm saying 40k. It's a PSG left back, guys. Like those are PSG links. So, don't sleep on that card. Could be a decent budget option if you can't afford like maybe Ferland Mendy. If you can't afford Teo Hernandez, they're going to be pretty expensive. Might be an option for you for Kachawi. So that's one to look for there. And then Graham Hansen, like this is up there with one of the best cards in the game, guys. I mean, just look at these stats. I mean, 89 pace, 88 passing, and 90 dribbling. One inform or one special card, and we're looking at 90 pace, 90 passing, 90 plus dribbling, and almost 90 shooting. This card is going to be, I think, a top five most expensive gold card in the game. In the game, guys. I'm, I'm thinking 500. I'm going to give a range here because it's just unknown, especially with the Barca links. I'm going to say somewhere between 500 and, and 700K because 
that's realistically how good this card could be in game. She is five foot ten, so she's actually not sh as short as some of the other women are. But she has the Trickster Plus playstyle. She has Quick Step. She has Finesse Shot, Technical First Touch, like insane, insane playstyles as well. She's going to be expensive, so keep an eye for this card. I'm saying maybe around 600k, right in the middle of that range that I mentioned. That's a really cracked looking card. And then, of course, you've got plenty of overpowered, really good looking women's cards like Sarah Gordon, who is again in the NWSL. But the way that I see this card is just like I see Mickey Vandeven from Spurs, right? Going to start out, might be 15, 20,000 coins, but then it's going to absolutely tank and go down to like three, four, five thousand 5,000 coins after four to five weeks in this game. So again, women's cards, really tough to guess. There's just so many unknowns with those cards this year. Now, the last few cards that we have, we're going into the League One and into La Liga really fast. For some of you guys that are looking for these guys, Usman Dembele, a staple of a FIFA card, right? This is one of those cards that, especially when you're looking to invest in the early game, you're looking at a card like this because this is one of the best French right wings in the game. He's made a name for himself for being an overpowered FIFA player because he's five-star, five-star. Last year, he was 100,000 coins as an 83 rated card. And this is one of those cards that you're like, Nate, 100K is an 83? That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, but he has the name recognition. He has the links and Barca links versus PSG this year. I think the Barca links would be better in this year's game than the PSG links in my personal opinion, but he's still a French five-star, five-star wing. And that's going to mean he's going to be pretty expensive. So I think Usman this year with the higher rating, we already know how tough he is to pack. I'm going to say he's even going to go up in price this year and be 150,000 coins because French links and French teams are so popular at the beginning. Even though the PSG links are a bit worse, no Messi, no Neymar, I still think 150k for this card is where he's going to be. Now moving on, another PSG player, Kim Pembe. He does not have 80 pace this year like he did last year. Is that going to impact his price a lot? I don't think so. Um, I think he's going to be right around the same mark. He was about 50,000 coins last year. Kempembe being a rating lower this year, let's say 40,000 coins. I think that seems pretty accurate for him. There's a lot of other good French center backs that are out there as well. That's what I'm saying for Kempembe. Another PSG player, Ashraf Hakimi. This one is one I would keep my eye on big time, guys, because he got a little bit of a stat upgrade, but there's no women's players that were added that are PSG that are right backs that even rival Hakimi's stats. Hakimi is bar none the best right back in League One, as he has been in FIFA terms or in Ultimate Team terms. Um, I think this guy this year is going to be a little bit more expensive than he was in previous years. He was about 70k last year. I think he's going to be 75, 80, maybe even 90k this year, even with PSG links being a little bit less. I mean, it's, just, it's still PSG, guys. And if you're using any PSG players, if you're trying to get Mbappe, Usman, Marquinhos, Kimpembe, a couple of midfielders from PSG that are on the women's side look pretty good. That's a card that you're going to have to have in your team. You have Donnarumma as well. But I think this Hakimi card is definitely one to keep an eye on, and he'll be rising a lot in price as we go on through the first couple of weeks from the beginning of the game. Now let's move to La Liga really quickly to end the video. Some Madrid and Barca players that you guys may be interested in. Rodrigo. Big upgrade from last year. Massive upgrade from his 81 rated overall. He is 4-star, four 4-star. Four if only they would have given him 5-star seals. That would have been amazing. But last year, he was so cheap, right? He went to like 10K, and that was his max price. This year, he's kind of replacing Usman Dembele in La Liga as like that one of the best right wings. Uh, because, of course, Dembele going to PSG. I'm saying Rodrigo this year with his nice, sizable upgrade. I think it's going to be 50 to 60K, guys. Maybe even a little bit more than that. Brazil links as well. Got a perfect link to Eder Militao and plenty of other Real Madrid players he can link to. I'm saying about 50 to 60K for Rodrigo. He could even be a little bit more, honestly. I can see that happening. Now, Ferland Mendy. And I mentioned before, French left backs, guys. Ferland Mendy, I think, is going to be a little bit cheaper this year. He's been the overpowered left back in La Liga for ages. He's terrifically like difficult to pack because he's 82 rated or 83 rated like he was last year but it seems like he's impossible to pack and just like Usman this guy just flies in price he was also 100,000 coins last year like Usman was a little bit over that I think Mendy this year is going to be a little bit cheaper just a little bit I think he's going to be about 90,000 coins his rating's a little bit lower and there is more competition in that French left back spot you've got Lisa Razu and Bon Pastor both as French left backs coming in as heroes. And you have two French left backs as well from uh, one from PSG, Sakina Karchawi, who we just looked at, and Selma Bacha. A lot of people were looking at this card 
that's a really solid item as well with some French links as a left back, high, high work rates, five foot three, so pretty short, but really good stats elsewhere. And I think that's going to make Ferland Mendy have a bit more competition this year. He is one of the only ones in La Liga still, so I think 80 to 90K is probably accurate. But I think it'd be a little cheaper this year just because a little bit more competition. Now, last couple of cards we have to look at. Jules Koundé, he's going to be more expensive this year, guys, 100%. And I'm telling you why right here. It's because he has the Jockey Playstyle Plus. And from the rumors that I've heard, the Jockey Playstyle Plus, those guys just feel different in-game. Let's just put it that way. For manual defending, those cards just feel so fast, so responsive. And I think this is going to be a year where Koundé gets used a ton. I think he's going to be one of the most OP center backs in this game because of that play style alone. Um, he's got quick step as well, so he's going to be fast. He's going to be agile. And he's still, what's his, um, he's controlled lengthy with the jockey. So he's like pacey with the lengthy, but also um, he's got the good dribbling and the agility with it. Like, I think this guy is going to be insane this year, guys. With the Barca links as well, linking to a, a lot of the new women's players and just great Barca links in general. I'm saying 100K, maybe even a bit more for Kunde this year because of all of those things being considered, which is more than what he was last year. I mean, he was... 70 to 80k last year but i think it's gonna be even more expensive this year and then last but not least a starter team beast everybody remembers this guy from the start of last year's ultimate team angel correa he's gonna be more expensive this year even though his rating has gone down everybody remembers he was overpowered and like we mentioned names and the recognition and what was good before carries a lot of weight in the start of a new game i'm saying correa this year is not going to be just 20k like he was last year i'm saying 40,000 coins guys for that starter striker beast now that's another video down for some price predictions let me know down in the comments what you guys think if you want me to do another one or you have any other questions for players drop them down below in the comments and i'll be seeing some of you down there if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions of course as always and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the photo count and see you guys in another video soon peace out